Now for this last part, we're given that the median of x is 1.88 and we've got to describe the skewness of the distribution, give a reason for our answer. Well, to illustrate this, what I've done here is just sketched out the start of a box plot, a box and whisker plot, okay, these would be the whiskers. And I'm assuming that you're familiar, by the way, with box and whisker plots. We've got the lower quartile here, though, which we found out in the previous part as 1.40. And the upper quartile, Q3, we found out was also 2.5. So the median, Q2, is 1.88. Where's that going to fit in here? Is it going to be closer to the 1.40 or is it going to be closer to the 2.5? Well, if we start by working out, for instance, what Q2 minus Q1 would be, okay, then it's going to be 1.88. Let's just put that in 1.88 minus Q1, which is 1.40. And if you work that out, you end up with 0.48. So put that there as 0.48. If we were to work out what Q3, the upper quartile, was minus Q2, we find that we've got 2.5 minus 1.88. And what does that give us? 0.62. So you can clearly see that Q3, the median, okay, sorry, Q2, I should say, is going to be closer to Q1, all right? There's a smaller width here. So if I was to put that in there, let's call that Q2 then, 1.88. Now, because we've got a bigger width here than we have here, then this is what we call positive skew. So that's our answer. I would say that since Q3 minus Q2 is greater than Q2 minus Q1, then we've got positive skew. All right, so hope that's given you an idea now how we could go about that particular part of the question.